It's summertime when the weather is hot. Bada bada ba bada bada bada. What's this guy doing? What's going on here? Well, hey there, sir. I see that you have some luggage. Yeah, you think you can give me a ride? I'm trying to get to the airport. Yeah, I can get you a ride here. Come on in. We'll see if we can try to fit that luggage in here. Let's go. All right. All set. Let's get you to the airport, sir. Let's go. Whatever. Hello everybody and welcome back to Performance on Wheels. In today's video, we're gonna do a series of tests to find out if the Bronco two-door is a practical vehicle for you or your family. We're going to test what the back seats are all about, what we have for storage in the back, what it's like for storage in the back with people in the back seats, what it's like doing an airport run, what it's like going to the grocery store. Let's figure out if the Bronco two-door is going to suit you well. In today's auto industry, it's very challenging to do something like this yourself. So hopefully, if you're cross shopping the two or four door, you want the two door because it's trendy, it's fun, it's a little bit cheaper, it's more maneuverable. There's so many reasons that people want the two door, but they can't get past the fact that they don't know if it's gonna be big enough or if it's gonna be practical. Today, we solve that for you. Fun facts out of the way, right? We have to talk about that practicality right off the bat. Gas mileage, in fact, 20 miles to the gallon, right? Yep. Like, like that is a good estimate. If you put big tires on it now. Expect um, less. Expect right. less, obviously, right? Yep. You have a brick, you have more friction on the road. You can get as low as I've heard, as low as like 12, 13, 14 miles to the gallon. It doesn't even matter the engine. Yeah. Um, it's just bad gas mileage if you put the bigger tires on it. We saw up to 22 with the bigger V6. We have the 2.7 EcoBoost in this one. And on an ideal road trip, we were seeing 22 miles to the gallon. So from a practicality standpoint, take that into mind. And you do not need premium gas. So yeah, it, it that's just, huge, right? It just detunes the engine if you use 87. It's perfectly um, safe. And then you can put 93 or 91 in it and yeah. it uptunes at another, what, 20 horse or something? Yeah, so that, that is big news because you're talking about substantial savings at the pump if you don't have to put premium in this turbo motor. You do right? not. So another thing is price, right? So at the base trim, going from a two-door to a four-door, it's, it's a all, huge Yeah, difference. it's almost like 4,000. Some of the other trims, it's closer to 2,000. But if you're just looking to get into the Bronco and you're going between two and four-door, $4,000, that's substantial. If you can that's make a, a lot two of door, options. If you can make a two-door work for your lifestyle, then heck, in that 37.7 uh, foot turning radius like this thing turns on a dime so it's really fun to drive around town it's really maneuverable you can get it in any parking spot you want practicality can we fit for adults the defender we came out of guys we do have a lot of videos on the defenders if you happen to be cross shopping we will be a good resource for that i love the fact that there's no b pillar there but getting into the bronco especially on the 17 inch wheels and not the sasquatch package it's, it's easy especially with those running boards we have now look at this i'm all the way back i'm six foot tall myself so I can put that manually adjusting seat all the way back but I can also come forward quite a bit and be quite comfortable so I'm going to show you guys how to get in the back seat here I'm going to make sure I'm comfortable here and see if I can actually get in the back seat let's do that right now all you have to do is hold that shoulder harness there right up top that comes forward Getting back here really isn't that challenging. Austin's gonna join me back here. He's just under six foot as well, so we have some adults. We'll bring this seat back. Oh boy. And yeah, okay, so I'm back here, um, but I can tell you it's pretty darn tight. I do know that I can go forward in that front seat. Take a peek at what I'm dealing with back here. Yeah, this is something else. Here we are both in the backseat of the Bronco. I honestly could do this for a quite a long period of time, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, it's actually got a decent sitting mm -hmm. position. It doesn't feel like like a third row SUV seat like you get in a yeah. lot of, even the Defender was kind of awkward with where your legs would be. The big difference though is that the Defender, you can get three people in the backseat. Yes, you right? can. And I do believe if I remember right, there's an armrest in the middle as well. Right. And it's just kind of yeah. awkward here. There's, there's only... Up here, I'm super comfortable. I really like this for an armrest the issue is, is everything's hard touch though there's nothing soft yeah. touch for your arms whatever you got a cup holder it's just that's the way that it is be pretty sweet with the top off right oh this would be an absolute riot with the top off yeah with all how open air this whole side area would be this would be an absolute riot 
I really like the back of this thing. So practicality wise, you can get four adults, all six foot tall. You can get yeah. four six foot tall adults. You can be comfortable in Easily. a two door Bronco. This thing would be an absolute riot with four dudes going off road on a trail. But that means absolutely nothing if you can't fit your gear. So let's talk about that right now. Yeah. We're gonna have some fun here. We're gonna do a role play. We're gonna say that me and my son, Austin, we're out off-road and having the time of our lives. And all of a sudden, we get a phone call. Grandma Ida is coming again. Guys, Grandma Ida is coming. We're going to go pick her up from the airport. Let's understand what we're working with first, though. So it's nice that the Bronco has the not only the, the swing gate, but also the lift glass. Because if you have something a little bit longer, you know, you can shut the gate. And Grandma's Ida's head can hang out here, right? So you can strap her in that way. If you already have four passengers, you just hang Grandma out the back. Um, as far as space goes back here, so this is actually quite a bit deeper than our Defender was. The width is not there. When it comes to the storage in the floor, though, I really would have liked if that uh, the, the top bag if that could have fit under here. But this, the storage is so small that that bag won't even fit here. So maybe some small tools, something like that will fit nicely. You have these sweet tie downs. So when grandma's hanging out of the back, you can strap her feet to these tie downs and she can hang out, right? Um, let's talk about moving the seats down because we're not gonna fit our groceries. We're not gonna fit our suitcases back here. So you have this nice handy little pull string right here. But look at that, it doesn't lay fat, flat, so there is another step involved. Let's go around to the side here and talk about that right now. So you can see here, this is the seat that I just put down and I didn't maneuver the cushion at all. So if we actually want that to be straight, you can see this cushion kind of folds forward, but it also tips up like that. So you do that in combination with that and you have a, a little bit more usable space. It's really not dramatic though. And obviously your front seats have to be forward in order for all that to happen. But yeah, we got something going on now. We got to keep one of these up because there's two adults up front here for our role play that we're getting into. And we're gonna see what we can do right now. We're gonna move quick here, guys. So we gotta set the scene. We're at the airport. Austin and I were just out off-roading. Grandma Ida calls, hey, I need to be picked up right now. I'm in the airport lane, it's eight o'clock and I gotta go to bed. Let's come pick me up. Austin and I didn't go grocery shopping, so big deal. We just gotta get three adults in this thing. Not a big deal at all. We just gotta put Grandma Ida's luggage in and it's, it's no big deal, right? So when you have a two-door and you think practicality, well, that's not gonna fit. Airport police are starting to yell at me already. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, so I can just easily just put them in this way, right? And I'm hurrying and I'm getting out of here. Uh-oh, that's not gonna close. You really have to be creative when you have a vehicle like this. What do you do? You go back to 1985, playing Tetris, sitting at home, moving the little L shapes to the left, right? Boom, we're done. We picked up Grandma Ida. What if we went grocery shopping prior to going to the airport? Will we be able to get three adults in the Bronco and her luggage? Let's see right now. So here, we got a couple grocery bags, right? We're putting grocery bags in here. We're getting those in. Gallon of water. We got a bin of cherries and tomatoes. Beautiful, right? We need some LaCroix. We need all of our LaCroix, like Costco size LaCroix, right? 30 of them. We'll throw that back here. Oh, I'm really hungry, Austin. Can we please stop and get a Crave case before we get Grandma Ida? It's what you crave, so we'll throw that in here. What are we gonna do now? Because there's no way we're getting suitcases in here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We're in the lane, airport police are yelling at us. We gotta put these seats down. Holy cow, we gotta maneuver them. We're gonna get this rocking and rolling. So this is it. Is the Bronco practical? Can we make this work? We went grocery shopping. We have two large suitcases. You really have to get creative. And you have to get creative in a hurry because the police are yelling at us. We got to move. We got that nice, good headroom. Look at this, guys. We are going to be successful. We have our cherries. We have our strawberries. It's a good thing we don't have our top off. Otherwise, we'd have nowhere for that. Bada bing, bada boom. You put an adult back here and I think we have a practical two-door Bronco. As I am sitting back here, I got another foot to the right of me and obviously we can continue stacking here on the back. I think we could do a full on Costco run and still have room for two full-size suitcases here in the back of the Bronco two-door with three adults in the vehicle. I would say that's a practical two-door. 
but if you do have a, a large family, obviously I would definitely suggest the four door. If you have kids, more than one of them, you're definitely gonna want the four door. One last test of practicality. If you have a small family, you have a newborn child, you have a car seat in the back seat that you need to access to, of course, get the baby into the car seat. Uh, there is not a lot of room and, and there's a very large distance from the door entry to the back seat to where you need to reach. So reaching a kid in here, whoa, uh, I think my, my feet would give out if it's slippery. Uh, then I got to try to get in here. Remember the car seat's going to be sitting about right here, guys. So I'm going to be sitting like this, baby through the door. We're going to do this, right? Here we go. Yep. Easy in. Okay. And uh, now we just got to buckle her up. Uh, yeah, that's not, it's not super easy. It is doable, um, but you are gonna have to, I, I would suggest be fit and smaller to get yourself back here to manage to buckle a baby in uh, and get yourself out. You do have to get into the Bronco to get a baby into the back seat. Sorry about it being a little bit dark, guys, yeah. but um, uh, yeah, that, that, that sums it up. I think it's a practical two-door. For a three or yeah, I'd say three yeah, three person family. It's it's a it's a couple vehicle, right? Yeah, yeah. It, maybe if you have a kid that's a uh, low teens or a smaller individual, then you I would make it I work. would say above car seat age. If you have a kid, this car is great. Below yeah. car seat age, it's going to be a really big pain in the butt. Absolute if, stellar vehicle if yeah. you are a couple or single though. Absolutely, yeah. I really really like the Bronco. It is, yeah, like you said, absolutely great. Couple, single, something like that. Uh, plenty of room for stuff in the back, yeah. plenty of room for grocery runs. And I love this thing. Yeah, I really, like really the like the this thing. The trendy fact of it, the fun factor of it being so short with that short wheelbase, it yeah. makes it worthwhile. Check out the Bronco too.